Alright, one weekend with uh, old Moby. And uh, time for a couple little quick upgrades. So the flooring in there is real slick. Everything slides around. Uh, gouge is kind of easy. It's just the standard wood flooring in there. So just for now, want to throw down some sort of carpet or something to keep it a little more comfortable. I was hoping for maybe something a little softer to lay on, but they had this great indoor outdoor carpet. It's a nice uh, gray color, works perfect. Just a scrap piece at Home Depot. Uh, the 12 foot actually works out perfect. I wasn't even thinking that, but it's gonna work great. I think it was like uh, six bucks a yard or something. Anyways, it came out to 48 bucks, I think for this big scrap piece. Uh, gonna be able to run it all the way up to this top trim strip. Gonna pull it off, tuck it under there and do it run it all the way to the back i'm gonna pull the bench out trim around the bench um just give us some carpet so everything's not sliding around and gouging i'll probably cut out these d-rings as well um yeah other than that there's also not a lot of storage at all in these vans so you got a little bit under here under this seat actually you can fit quite a bit of little odds and ends in there a little overhead but that's kind of it you don't even have a glove box so finding a place to store a couple things is great. I like to keep some jumper cables and toe straps, ratchet straps, whatnot uh, in the car. So I found these tubs at Costco too that just slide under the seats perfectly. Um, so probably find a way uh, to kind of secure these temporarily. Uh, you know, we're not gonna completely go straight into conversion land. So this will work great in the meantime. So why are we doing carpet instead of just keeping the existing? Uh, it's just this wood gouges up pretty easy. Already have a couple little gouges in it uh, in just a week of not even using it. And also it's just slippery. Everything slides around. I uh, hit the brakes and everything goes sliding. So will this be our final floor material or? No. What's our plan? Not totally sure. So rubberized uh, flooring is cool. Uh, I kind of like the hose out look, but I guess it depends on what we end up going with. It's obviously not the comfiest lay on it cozy uh feel like a home but we're gonna keep the van pretty utilitarian and keep the back garage area pretty open don't want to mount much permanently back there just because i still want to be able to take it to home depot uh costco you name it throw four mountain bikes in the back so don't want to put any real rigidly built-in stuff um since we're not necessarily living out of the van but we want to make it comfortable for our family of four for sure exactly so Something rubber would be great. You could kind of hose it out, rinse it out, but at the same time, uh, not the coziest. So we'll have to decide what kind of design aesthetic. Went to Home Depot to look at either sheathing, sheeting or clad, cladding, mm -hmm. uh, or like tongue and groove materials. Uh, even looked at some flooring that I think could work pretty good too, uh, to use uh, up the sides. Obviously sheeting the entire thing is kind of one of the first steps in insulating it um before you can really mount anything want to do a platform bed again easily removable so we can keep the whole garage space usable home depot runs etc we do a lot of home depot runs you know the most depressing <laughs> part about driving a sprinter when you go to home depot or not even home depot costco or you name it and you spend three to five hundred bucks and you bring your your groceries and put it in the back and it's uh literally takes up one twentieth of the inside of the van really that's 500 bucks but uh, you know it's fun i'm really glad we went with the short wheelbase 144 uh because daily driving it around even navigating parking lots and such honestly it doesn't feel much different than a normal car uh, i think the 170 you get a bit more space you could build in a kitchen and such a bathroom you could do that even having five seats since we want five seats for us five seats and a bed uh it's going to take up most of the space again we're not living in it one sec babe so that's all right uh but yeah definitely even in a normal parking spot no problem the 360 cameras are awesome totally recommend them almost went without them is the dog a boy or a girl probably a boy a boy his name is harold so that's a boy's name dad what's his name harold mm. i'm going to choose a name okay so yeah for now uh not looking to get too buck wild the first week we just got the van but a little bit of storage under the seat and a little bit of carpet <laughs> what's a bad word but buck. buck is not a bad word buck wild did i say buck wild yeah <laughs>
<laughs> we get a, a word police over here. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll take you guys on this uh, van life conversion. Yeah. All right. Week one update. See ya. Later.